Real and meaningful spiritual growth sometimes demands living a paradox. Now the parasha that we're going to read tomorrow, which is in fact a double parasha, expresses one of those key paradoxes. You know, if the Torah puts two portions together, it's not just because we have to catch up a certain amount of portions in a certain amount of weeks. It's because there has to be a very strong connection between the themes of the two portions. So tomorrow we read the portion called Nitzavim and the portion called Vayelech, two very short portions. The name of a Torah portion tells us what the primary theme of that portion is. And that's where things become paradoxical because Nitzavim, which represents the theme of that parasha, means to stand firm, immutable, unmovable. Vayelech means to move, to walk, to progress. So how do you put the two of them together? You know, you have to choose a position. Is your position solid or is your position flexible? Are you the kind of person who stands your ground? Or are you the person who is willing to progress and to shift and to accept change? One of the great challenges that we've had over this past year is that many of the things that we've believed we should stand strong on, we actually have to <clears throat> move on. We have to be flexible because circumstances have changed so radically. So from a spiritual perspective, which position should we take? The position of I stand firm or the position that says I'm open to move? So the parasha tells us you put both of them together, which means that the paradox of spiritual growth and development is that there has to be one part of us that never shifts and another part of us that is constantly open to movement. Or to put it into different words, there needs to be a bedrock on which we can build a flexible system. If you don't have a set of parameters, if you don't have a structure and you're open and flexible, you could land up being all over the place. And if you're completely stuck in a particular structure and you're closed to any kind of growth and development, then you're stuck. So the balance of spiritual growth is to have both. At our core, there are values that we need to have that are absolutely non-negotiable values. Our faith, non-negotiable. Our commitment to do what Hashem wants, non-negotiable. Our commitment to be good to people, non-negotiable. These are the nitzavim. These are the things that help us to stand firm. Once we've established that, vayelech. Then we can say, well, what does faith actually mean? Now that I know that I'm committed to faith, what does my faith demand of me? Perhaps it demands of me to step out of myself and to go to places and do things that are foreign and challenging. What does it mean I'm absolutely committed to God? I'm 100% committed to God. But that means I have to be flexible enough to accept that sometimes God wants things of me that test me and push me to the brink. I have to absolutely be good to the next person. Well, what does that mean? Sometimes I have to be good not on my terms, but on their terms. It's an interesting thing. People often find it strange that religious Jews seem to have an easier time speaking to faith leaders of other faiths. Whereas people who are not so committed in their Judaism often just put up a wall and say, we don't discuss those things. Because if you are Nitzavim, if you have clear foundations and you know exactly who you are and what you stand for and what you believe, and that's non-negotiable, then you have openness to be able to discuss, explore, learn, and that's the real strength of being Jewish and growing spiritually. Nitzavim first. First we set down good foundations, and then Vayelech, from there, we are able to progress and to grow and to connect and to be open, and uh, there's, a, there's a wonderful depth that comes from that. Have a wonderful Shabbos.